Hello, in this video I'll show you how to perfectly insert details into your meshes. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. So I've got this object right here. So how do I insert perfectly with all quad topology? And just real quick to check your topology, you simply go into select non quads. As you can see, you've got all quads here. All right, so here's what we do. We've got this object. And first thing we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that the pivot is in the center and also at the top right here. So what I would do is just, let's say, select this vertex, copy the value, and then go into effect pivot only and paste that Z value right here. All right, we're going to create a new plane. We're going to press shift A to align it right here. And we're going to go ahead and scale it or increase the length and width right here. All right, I'm going to turbo smooth this. All right, I'm going to select this object, skin wrap, Make sure that weight all points is on, it's off by default. And we're going to add this object. Now we're going to, well, let's make a copy first, depending on how much you need. All right, now select this object and I'll use either select in place or the clear text script to move it right here. All right, I will apply at a poly on top. I will go into freeform, switch this to surface left click here and choose what surface I want to use. So we'll choose the underlying surface. We'll click on conform. We won't zoom in, we'll zoom out here and we'll just left click to conform it all in one fell swoop. All right, we'll select that object and we will just collapse that. This way we can delete the plane. All right, it's now right here. So now we go into, let's say, create new and apply modifier and we will, let's say, select this and delete that. All right, we'll select this edge of these vertices. We do a little bit of edge constraints, move that right there. And we will attach this to it. So with conform, that means that now it has been attached to surface. Because when we set up this plane here, we want the plane to be even. So essentially it's going to conform the outer surface very well to this plane right here. At this point, we're going to just start to just bridge that. We're going to go into the border level and we're going to press Alt P to cap that. At this point, it's not just a matter of working things out, selecting vertices and connecting them. We do have a triangle here. So let's see, let's sometimes you just need to change how you connect it. We'll connect that and we'll connect this. We'll connect that. Change how we connect the vertices. So we're going to connect it like this instead. As you can see, now it works just fine. Now it is a little bit sloppy here, but we can just adjust it very easily. So right now we may have a little bit of strange things happening here, but that can be easily fixed by selecting this vertex face constraints and just kind of moving them away a little bit here just to get them to be more even. So we're kind of keeping them on the surface. Like right here, for example, we don't want this kind of situation where this is happening. So we're going to go ahead and to fix that. So the reason why this works is because here we have a loop happening here, but not here. So you can see this happens. So let me just explain this real quick because this is kind of a topology issue we need to understand. So if I select this and I apply it to poly and I select these edges, we can see on the top left there's eight edges. To activate statistics, you go into the plus, configure viewports, statistics, edge count, vertex count, selection, Show statistics in active view. Apply. Okay. So there's eight edges here, but 
you remember my selection was something like this. So if I select this and hold down shift convert to border edges, you can see there's 10 edges. So you may be wondering, how does eight edges fit nicely into 10 edges? Well, it's because it all depends on a little topology trick. And the trick is that, so this is the loop going around here, but in order to make this fit into 10 edges, you simply change the topology like so and remove that and look at that. Now it's 10 edges instead of eight. So this is an example of a really cool topology trick you can use to kind of finagle your details, get them where you want them to be. So that trick right there, as well as just selecting vertices, face constraints, kind of fixing around to be more even, getting rid of bad situations will give you the power to very easily insert objects. Obviously, there are tools that can do this automatically, but oftentimes they give you really bad results and really messy topology. This result takes more time, but it gives you the perfect topology with all quads. So we go into selection, non-quads, nothing is selected, which means it's all good. So typically you would do the step in the last phase of your modeling, just as you quickly detail things. But let's say that we want to insert a small detail. Let's say we want it to be smaller right here. But once again, you probably wouldn't go with the current level. You would want to turbo smooth your model and make it more complex. But once again, I'll go with kind of finding an area here with more, you know, six, six faces. All right. Apply it apply on top of there. Let's go with this. Let's collapse that and let's attach that. There we go. So let's fix up any strangers like right here. We're going to fix any kind of lopsided polygon as much as we can. And that is how you can integrate details into your mesh with good topology. Thank you for watching and take care.